Hey there, home learners. I'm glad to see you're back with us for our second part of our four-part story using Scratch Junior. Now, last class, we did the orientation, the who, the when, the where. And if you haven't seen that video yet, go back and look at part one first. So we're moving on to part two. So we're gonna take a look at the events and what happens to Florence at school. So let's go along and we'll start with our home and find our project one from last time. Now, so we can remember what the project was, we can go ahead and hit play here. They're walking to school. Let's go to school, Drago. Okay, Drago's very happy, he's excited. I can hide myself and he pops out and off goes Florence to school. So that's our setup. Now that brings us to the second part. So make another slide here on the right and you can get rid of any character that's left over because we are going to go to school. Now you can really go anywhere you want. Uh, you could be at the library or you could go to the classroom or even the, the basketball court, the gym. I think we're gonna go to the classroom because in my storyboard, that's where Florence has her English lesson. So I'm gonna say okay to that, and I've got my background. Now it's time to add some characters. Of course, we need to have Florence, and we'll bring her back in here. And we also need to have, let's put her over here maybe. For now, we need two boys, because in my storyboard, Florence sits next to two naughty boys. There's naughty boy one, and I'll move him at his desk and I'll add another character, and we'll get Naughty Boy number two. There we go, and he'll be at his desk. So Florence has to go and sit between two Naughty Boys. That was my word, my preposition, between. So I'm gonna have to go from off camera, we'll come around this way, and then we'll have her come right up next to the boys. Or we could come this way too but it might be more fun to come this way. So we're gonna bring her off camera there and we need to start. So we're gonna to go to Florence's tab, click on the yellow folder and start arrow and we'll have her walk. And that might be, uh, it's pretty far, maybe 11 could go all the way. And then we need her to go up and let's make that two. Now we can just see how that goes. Oh, I went the wrong way, look at that. I've got the wrong tab. We need to go the other way. Silly. Uh, 10 maybe. All right, let's reset here. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, now she's not between them, right? But pretty close. So I need to go a little bit further. Let's make that 15, reset, hit the green arrow and see if that works. Hey, right on the money, excellent. Okay, so she is going to be between the two naughty boys. Now, we're going to activate the naughty boys and they're going to be naughty. So what we need to do is send a message using our yellow tab envelopes. Remember, to send a message means to say, activate next character, start next character. So she's gonna send a message to the two naughty boys and they are going to receive it. And they can both receive it at the same time. So I'll start with opening an envelope for both. Now they get to do some naughty things. So maybe one can wobble, wobble, jump. And the other one can jump, wobble, wobble. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, do we want to put that on a repeat? I think we want to loop that maybe two times. Let's do that two and we'll come up for the other child and repeat loop and we'll put that as two as well all right let's see them dance and be naughty here she comes up to do up to her desk yahoo yahoo <laughs> she is not very happy about that all right i'm gonna stop you know what she's gonna say something I think i'm gonna add a speech bubble here what can she say after they do that now after uh, she sends them the letter. They're going to be dancing, right? So I'm going to give her just a pause. And we haven't tried this one yet, but this little, this little right here, alarm clock, this little timer, we're going to pause. And we're going to pause for five, five units, I think. And then she's going to say, you boys are 
naughty. You boys are naughty, and she has to sit between them. Let's take a look at that and see how it looks. She comes up to her desk. The boys do their dancing, and she says, you boys are naughty. Perfect timing. Ooh, one thing I wanted to show you guys is this ABC here at the top. You can add text. And I see a big blank space on the whiteboard, so let's add some text. This is Space Town. And we'll hit the big A to make it a little smaller so it fits and drag it down. Space Town, cool. And we can also put the unit in, can't we? Let's do another one. We'll hit it again and we'll do unit 18. And we'll make that one even smaller. Cool, we just put <laughs> the English lesson on the board. I like it. Hey, if this is an English room, we need to bring in an English teacher, I think. So I'm gonna hit the plus button here and we'll find a teacher. Uh, she looks all right. We'll add her and she can come in from this side. Now, she is quite big for the room, I think. So what we're gonna need to do is shrink her down a little bit. So if you click on the pink tab, um, on start, actually, let's always put the start arrow. On the pink tab, we can make her smaller. So she'll shrink down a little bit because right now she's a giant. And we also want to move her over. So she'll come this way to Space Town uh, to the whiteboard. So let's see what that looks like. Yeah, now she's the right size. Okay, good. So she's going to shrink down and come over. And let's make her over like five, and then she can say something as well. What could she say? Um, everyone's out of their seats. Class will start. Uh, I know. What does your teacher say? Please sit down, class. All right. Please sit down, class. That's her English teacher. And we will have a look. Do, do, do. Please sit down, class. Excellent. Oh, now, the last thing we need is Drago. Drago needs to have a quick little I see you because um, he's invisible right now. So if we follow everyone around and they jump up and down, and you boys are naughty. Now Drago needs to come and have a peek. So let's bring Drago back in. And Drago... Uh, what we need to do is, is we need to send a message to Drago that it's time. We need to activate him. So let's go to Florence and let's send another mail. We've sent one already, so we need to change the color and let's make this one red. All right, now we're going to go to Drago. And you know, there's a lot of characters in this story. Let's see, there he is. And we will um, open the letter on start and make it red. So... The first thing I've noticed is that Drago is huge. He takes up most of the space, right? So what I want him to do is to probably shrink a little bit and go invisible. So on start, I'm going to have Drago do that. I'm going to have Drago, let's first, we'll have him start invisible, and we'll put him down real far. And then we'll shrink him one, maybe. Later, we can make him really big. Okay, so he's going to turn invisible and shrink down, and then he needs to move into position. So we're going to move him up three, because he's down here off screen a little bit, and he'll move up a little bit, and we can see, there he goes, and he's moved up. And then, on start, he's going to be up here. He's going to become visible, so we'll make him visible again. So he's going to be there, which is not as high as I wanted. I think I'll change that to five. He's going to become visible, and he's going to say something. Um, he doesn't like the naughty boys, does he? What does he say? Um, they are, oops, they are very naughty boys. All right. And then we need him to disappear again. So we'll put that in as well. All right, let's see if the whole scene, how it comes along. Uh, I need to start Drago down here. And let's try. So he just gets out of the way. Please sit down. Florence is between two boys. Then 
They are very naughty boys. And then he disappears. Very cool. Okay. I think that's pretty good for events, guys. We have lots of things happening. In your story planner, you probably have some, some places that Florence is sitting um, or what Drago thinks of them or what they're doing, and you can show all of that. You do not have to go to the classroom. You can choose the place that's in your plan. Don't make the problem happen yet. That's our next video. We will look at the problem together, and I'll show you how some ways that maybe you can um, code that one as well. So come back to part three, which is coming up soon, and it will be problem, and then the last is the resolution. I can't wait to see these all finished. Good job, guys. Until then, bye-bye.